The Leafs will enter the playoffs with the worst defensive line of any team that qualifies. This shouldn't surprise anyone, as the Leafs have an extremely immobile defensive line that is absolutely brutal at puck movement and lacks a true number one superstar player to anchor it. There's a lot of talk about the Leafs having too many left-handed defensemen, which doesn't really matter, while, ironically, there's little debate about their true weakness, which is puck movement. Not only are the Leafs defensemen, except really, Liljegren and Timmins, who doesn't play, bad at moving the puck, but they are also completely incompatible with the group of forwards they have, not to mention a coach whose primary strategy is based on possession. Disc, something you can't have if you can't get through. But even that isn't the Leafs' biggest problem. Their biggest problem is TJ Brody. During the Leafs' most recent practice, the coach placed TJ Brody alongside Morgan Reilly on the first defensive line. This is misleading as they will be somewhat protected, but it is still a big problem. Brody is, at best, the Leafs' fourth best defenseman, after Reilly, Liljegren, and McCabe. He might be the worst of them if not for some extremely questionable trade deadline acquisitions. On Saturday, he had the fourth most minutes at 5v5, and Carolina took advantage when he was on the ice. Carolina had the puck 75% of the time, brutal, outscored the Leafs 9-5 in shots, while scoring chances were 8-2 and dangerous chances were 5-0. All indicators show that Brody is the Leafs' worst defender this season, with both defensive and offensive issues. With all of these questions in mind, it is critical that the Maple Leafs recognize TJ Brody's limitations, especially as they advance into the playoffs. If there are no adjustments, his presence on the defensive line could represent a major obstacle to the team's ambitions this postseason. And you, Leafs fan, do you agree with this assessment? Leave your comments and let's continue the discussion about the challenges the Leafs face in the final stretch of the NHL season.